let's talk about how easy it is to add and edit users on your CWC on-demand virtual training platform. First things first, make sure that you and your staff know to only use Chrome. Chrome is the best browser, it's the recommended browser for any platform really or any device. So iPhones, iPads, uh, Android phones and pads, PCs, Mac computers, okay, Chrome works best. Definitely do not try to use Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, they won't work right. So now you've received your login ID and password from the platform. You've logged in and kind of played around and watched the how-to video on how to get things started. Now let's break out how to add users. Very easy. So we're here on the platform, vt.lightspeedvt.com, and you've logged in. See this little button here at the top? This little plus sign with a little dude, add user. Let's click on add user. It takes us straight to this part here. Now, if you also look in the menu, in the menu, these three little lines here, and then go to management tools and manage users, here you'll see where you can search for existing users to edit content roles or things like that. You can create users one by one, or if you're feeling really uh, spicy, you can go in here to create an enrollment link that you can send to your own team members or use a system to send it to a list of team members. If you have multiple people that you want to get set up, you can do kind of a group invite and have them all set the same way. I like to set each one up individually to make sure that I know their username and password that I made, that I'm giving them the right content role. So that's just me. But feel free to play around with the enrollment. So we've clicked the button to add user and it takes us straight to this part here so we can create somebody. So let's add Jane Doe. And Jane is at Jane at WigginsAgency.com. I like excuse me, I like to use the email address as um, the username. That way it's just nice and easy. So I tabbed out and look, username's available. Let's say I was trying to use her first name and last name, username not available. Well, I could put in some numbers and now it's available, right? But I like to use the, the email address as the username. But if that email address has ever been used in any Lightspeed VT platform, it won't work. So you need to use first name, last name, and some numbers. Temporary password, I just make temp1234. Temp, T-E-M-P, one, two, three, four. They'll need to change it to whatever uh, they want to use. Do not enter an account expiration date. For some reason, some people read this as account creation date. No, it's an expiration. If you put an expiration date, it expires on that date. Of course, you can go into search users, select inactive users, go to them, delete this account expiration date, scroll down and click on update, and they'll be able to log back in. Uh, you'll need to mark them as active as well. So just skip this field. There's really no reason to expire someone's account. If you ever want to deactivate someone, you just go to search users and right up above here you would click no to deactivate them. So name, email, username and password, um, staff access level. That means that they won't be able to fast forward in short videos and they won't be able to see the answers to questions nor would they be able to add or edit users even if you click this button to add or edit users. Staff level can't do those things. That's stuff within the platform that has nothing to do with what videos they see. The videos on the platform are assigned by content role. So you'll either assign down here, you'll either assign staff content role. If you want them to see all of the videos on the platform except any course or section that says owners and managers, or if you want them to see everything, including sections that have owners and managers content, just click on admin all content. Do not click on trial, that's for something else. Um, and there's really no need to click on admin, owner, and staff, although you can, it won't like duplicate or triplicate content. But in this case, I don't want, oh, by the way, if you have a key person that you do want to have the ability to add and edit users, to see the correct answers to quizzes on staff content as they're going through. It'll be marked like green. Um, to see full reporting and things. Put them as an owner. It's okay, you can have multiple owners on the platform. And then say yes, ability to create and edit users. Okay, that's how you would do it. And then you would choose admin all content and then create user if you're trying to assign someone full content. But in most cases, 
You're going to add them as staff access level so they can't fast forward videos, they can't see the uh, updated reporting, they don't see the correct answers to quizzes, right? No, not able to add users. And I'm going to give them staff level content role and I'll click on create user and boom. The ID and password that I created will be emailed to them within a matter of seconds. Tell them to only use Chrome and they can dive in to the platform.